let's look at our updated teleconnections so we can see how long might this cold stick around. Well, with the latest European weeklies, our AO, our Arctic Oscillation, at least on the control, is staying negative until potentially Christmas, where it tries to go positive for a little bit and then dive back down south for the beginning of January. Moving into our EPO, which represents a large Alaskan ridge. Again, this helps to funnel a lot of cold air into the plains and out east. This is a very, very cold signal for us continuing to move forward, really for much of the states. Taking a look at our NAO now, which is for my mid-Atlantic and New England people who want a nor'easter. You want to have a negative NAO for that setup. Nice little dive down here through the first two weeks of December. Again, this typically gives you better eastern winter storm tracks. So what's going on with our PNA? Well, the latest European weekly really sees a pretty neutral PNA. I know the control is mostly positive, but we're not seeing any large peaks or large dips in the teleconnection. So there should be some room for some of this cold air and moisture to continue to move into the west. This is also a great signal for cold air and snow from coast to coast. A negative WPO allows for blocking in the higher latitudes. And if we have that in combination with an Alaskan Ridge negative EPO and our negative NAO, which is blocking out to the east, cold air gets trapped. Your winter storms are enhanced sometimes from coast to coast, especially in the plains and out east if you have that negative NAO. So again, a really good sign for much of the country for a well below average December and potentially a very snowy December. It's looking like the models have done really well with kind of the monthly forecasting because a lot of the stuff we were talking about two weeks ago is still on the table here. It still looks like this is what's going to occur or at least a version of it.